We were watching them form this new global elite. Now, we know that when we look at BP, we're not looking at a nation. So even though it's British Petroleum, nobody's blaming England because uh, corporations have no nation. And then that's what we're moving into now is this, this elite rule through corporate or fascist dictatorship. Uh, when we start to look at the Pope right now, and as I was saying, I was watching the Pope for the 4th of July because this is a, a, a pivotal event and timing for the Brotherhood. And I was, I'm expecting still uh, a movement to take the Temple Mount for the 4th of July. I think that will be the date they will use for that action, just as 1013 was the date they used to bring down the bankers, which was the, the, the day of the Templars, that the day the Pope and the King signed a palpable bull saying, being a Templar is illegal. Now, this was all due to a major scandal where they found the Templars through, uh, you know, uh, torture, finding them kissing the anus and doing things to the cross that we won't mention. But then this latest pope, Benedict, he comes out and says, oh, well, we found this 600-year-old document exonerating the Templars. So everything that the pope has done has been kind of this revamping of the Templars, bringing them back up, allowing the Masonic revelation to come forth, the holy Masonic empire. And now the pope on the 4th of July ends up visiting St. Celestine's uh, tomb. And St. Celestine was a, 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 a monk who lived in a cave that during time of great turmoil in the Vatican was yanked out of his cave and brought down and made pope. This man was not at all, he was 80 years old, was not at all in any place to, to have the mentality to take on the type of well, sorcery and corruption that was going on in the Vatican, and they just abused and used him for just five months, I think he lasted, and then he abdicated the throne, the very first pope to ever do so. Now we have Pope Benedict visiting his tomb on 4th of July, and this is his second visit to this very same pope. Is he trying to give us a message about maybe the abdication of the throne uh, due to all of these sexual abuse scandals that he's having to deal with? Or are they promoting all of this just so we begin to start to lose faith in all of these systems so that we can turn to the new systems that they have? Yeah, it's almost like uh, the oil companies now. You see, it's for the average mind to say, well, why would an oil company purport to do so many catastrophic things to destroy their access to the second largest oil supply on the planet? It's because they're Satanists. They're doing a ceremony, a self-inflicted wound. It's like killing your own child in public for a Satanist is one of the highest arts and one of the greatest things to do to gain more power in the satanic realm. An oil company doing this is precisely what you'd expect if you look at it from the satanic viewpoint. And, and then there's Elon Musk. All of a sudden they come up with this, this article saying, Tesla Motors to save us from oil. All right, uh, Elon Musk, and of course, we all know, those of us that have been tracking the electric engine and the water engine, I mean, you know, we're not even talking about the one that Tesla had back in the 1900s, but right. in the current ones, and we see all of these uh, scientists dropping dead or vanishing or committing suicide, and all the electric engines, water engines, just vanish, right? But now, we have this great oil spill, and here's Elon Musk, oh, our hero, waiting in the side wings like he was some man in his garage building Tesla motors. Well, yeah, pop, 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 right? and here he is with SpaceX. He's getting $492 million from Iridium satellites to launch his SpaceX Dragons into space. And then he was just given $50 million by Toyota for his electric car, the Tesla, Tesla Motors. Right. As if this was coming up and he just happened to be the man there. They, they, they just set us up with these heroes that we can think are some sort of garden variety grassroots uh, scientists and I can prove and have proved over the next last couple of years that Elon Musk was was set up for this very position. Oh yeah, look, it's just a battery car and it actually generates more pollution, more carbon damage, if you want to believe in carbon credit foolishness, than a conventional gasoline or natural gas engine which you can convert most cars in North America and buses and trucks the natural gas, not a little generate is, is water vapor with no heavy metals coming out the tailpipe. This okay. Elon Musk thing is a vast distraction from the truth, and of course they want to set up a vast network of nuclear power stations so the Queen, Rio Tinto Mines, Carlisle Group, Halliburton, etc., the same old crew uh, will be in control. No different than the ancient uh, dialectics used by Nimrod to invade a town or city or country, destroy it with his rabble, then come in with his regular army, clear up the rabble and say, make me your king, 
This is exactly what they're doing, and they want to be the king of the new energy age, the nuclear age, which they want to abruptly end the carbon age. And what do they expect from us? They expect us to protest, to be violent uh, protesters in the streets. So here we have the, the whole G20 fiasco. Uh, the protest was $1.6 billion they spent on, on uh, security there. That's That's um, way more than they spent on the Olympics when it was in Canada. So what happens is we find that they have us all demoralized and angry, and so what do we do? We go yell at riot squads, which means it makes no difference. And they're using our own heroes against us. So one such person was Charlie Beach of the Love Police, who has an Internet YouTube presence as the Love Police going to protest and making them funny. Well, they arrest him there for not giving his identification quick enough, and they strip search him four times, and then they release him finally after 14 hours or so. And the next day, as he's heading to the airport, he's arrested for a YouTube video that he had made. Now, the night before, I had asked him, well, do you think that they're picking on you because you have this YouTube presence? And this was before they arrested him at the airport. And I said, do you think they're going to use your YouTube videos to anger other people so that they will then go and become violent protesters? And he agreed with me. And sure enough, on his way to the airport or at the airport, was arrested for impersonating an officer because of one of his YouTube video clips where he jokingly says that he was a member of MI7 and he's actually an agent provocateur and can't give you any of his information. He was speaking to a, a mall officer, and they have now charged him with impersonating an officer. To me, this is all, I mean, to, to spend $1.6 billion on security is to attract a violent attention, is to attract the anger of all of these people. And so our, our method out is not to violently oppose what no. we're up against. We have to start to live life that we want to see come to fruition. Yeah, and in other words, we need to dis disengage from the financial systems. I have proposed, for example, a whole new financial system where <clears throat> what we do is we set up an electronic barter unit where we can bid on it like eBay, where you can put your goods, your services, your time, your talents out, where we can have an encrypted system that doesn't pay tax, that uh, literally has a small uh, fee just literally to support the networks and the encryption of, say, 1%. That's theoretically possible, and I've seen time banks, but I'm thinking of a system with parameters that would make it much more, uh, how can I, real time, you, in other words, it would be based on need and use and availability and transport. And that could be done tomorrow. We don't have to have it backed by gold, we'd literally be backed by our very, our sweat of our brow, our goods and services, and our intellectual property. That's what we need to do. We need to disengage from these evil ones. We need to disengage from the evil they're doing, and then the system will collapse in its own weight. Back in a moment. Welcome back to the Unique Medical Report, and of course, uh, Freeman, you've got some more comments about this. I'd like some new terms, like I call carbon death unit, the carbon guilt they want to have. Once there are thousands or millions of people dead from this BP oil disaster, this is a false flag. It is a ceremony, and if you can't see the ceremony, it's part of the ancient ceremony that uh, was put forward by the ancient Atlanteans, uh, the ancient cultures of Sumer and Egypt. It's the ancient ceremony they used to call Pahanuk, the ancient ceremony of the Phoenix. And they want to stage manage, literally putting, if you want to call it lighter fluid on the Phoenix bird while they fire the match at it or strike uh, flint together with steel. This is what they're trying to do. They want to literally ignite the end of the world and bring it under their control. Can you comment on that? Yes, yes. Guilt is the key word right now. And that is where they want all of us, is living in this guilt, afraid and ashamed, and thinking that this is all our fault. That's their main spell, is making us think that we're them. And that's the whole purpose of Miley Cyrus, Lady Gaga, is to make everyone feel like they are them, that they are these evil elite. I mean, they even set out their, their god of death, you know, the lord of the mummy wrappings, Anubis, outside of the Denver International Airport back on uh, in, in the middle of June, towards the end of June. And... This was their very uh, symbol of this dark and light, the, the checkerboard idea is the very uh, symbol they have of him from uh, ancient Egypt saying that his face was black as night and then gold as day. 
because he is the messenger between heaven and hell displaying the alternate faces. So they have their alternate face there with the Statue of Liberty, and of course she's she's the current Semiramis, the current Isis, 